Hi, I'm here with Michael Gorin, who is President and CEO of Group IST, and this is Insider Travel Videos. Michael, we're going to talk a little bit about a destination that you're pretty familiar with. You've been going there for quite some time, Cuba. And it's all the rage these days, but you actually have been going there since when? Well, James, we already, uh, this is going to be our fourth season in Cuba. We started about more than five years ago to build this concept of cruise, people to people cultural tours of a small ship in Cuba. Right. And when we started, we've been the yeah. first one. The first the one that got one. the authorization by OFAC, uh, the US, uh, to go to Cuba with people to people aboard a mega yacht and reach communities, small communities all over the islands. And we've been the first one to really take uh, folks from all over the country to experience an unbelievable Cuban experience first time. Okay. Now, uh, it's all the rage now. We got the mega cruise lines going in there and it seems everybody's going to Cuba. What do you see as the outlook for uh, travel to Cuba from the US? Well, you see, when things develop so fast, and the demand went and so many players came to the marketplace, the Cuban raised prices and um, the infrastructure wasn't enough. And lots of mistakes had been done along the way. I think that more and more right now, folks there in Cuba do understand it. While we kept steady and built our program with our mega yacht, our small ship, to go to places that nobody else is going. Mm -hmm. So we didn't mix with the crowd and we kept the top, top specialists being with us. And so we could go to a place like Maria Lagoda, which you go and visit small village and a local school or a natural uh, park and really, really have a, even a chance to do snorkeling and swimming or going to places like Isla del Joventud, which is the largest island that it's part of the main island of Cuba, mm -hmm. which is, I believe, the fifth largest island in the Caribbean, the island of Hughes. Huge history, we are the only one over there right. with our three boats in the Bay of Singuanea. So, in fact, the Cubans saw first time Americans that come to engage and have culture to them. And we do it with art school. When we see students that uh, study music, in fact, we brought the chamber music from the Lincoln Center and top musician to be part of it and see it. So we got lots of different groups from all over the countries and individuals from all over the United States. And so, it's an amazing so, experience. So you're really not seeing a slowdown right now in, in your product, right? Not, not in our product because it's unique. So we have lots of organization, lots of tour operator uh, and travel agents that really love the concept of sending their customer to do unique stuff and we can tailor make for the need of any organization, tour operator or a travel agent because of our flexibility. How, how, and, uh, yeah, how big are these ships actually? Well, the ship that we have are uh, from 50 passenger all the way to 72. Uh, we have um, next season, in fact, we're going to have four boats. Yeah. We have the Callisto, they're taking only 34 passenger. Wow. It's a motor yacht with stabilizer. We have the Panorama, which is a sail motor yacht. When we open the sail in the Caribbean Sea, it's unbelievable. Or oh, you get out of Havana Bay and with an open sail, it's you know, it's a signature. Right. And then we got the luxury Voyager, which accommodated up till 72 passenger. Which is not and very many even that. Right? That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. But the plus is, you really feel that you are in your own private yacht. Excellent. And that's, that's an amazing thing. So that's because not only you get to unique places like uh, Trinidad via Casilda, but you don't need to sit on a bus for hours and hours in this big uh, in this big island we take you to the site and yet you can go to a place like the small island of Cayo Lago and see the local communities and also enjoy swimming and snorkeling yeah. so do lots of cultural tours lots of people to people but also have the fun as well yeah so the small ship is a huge advantage then. Right. huge advantage especially places like Cuba and other around the globe because when you have a lack of infrastructure, when it's very difficult to go by lane to places along the coastline, right. you can get there with a small boat. 
Yeah. You don't need much infrastructure for that. And from the, so all the ports you talked about, you're going to a lot of places that even some of these circumnavigation cruises that I, I, I've actually been on one don't go to, right? Oh, absolutely. The big boat can go only to Havana and maybe Santiago de Cuba. We get to a place like Maria Lagoda. We in Anchor we use our Zodiac or local tender to take our people to the place, to the sides, to the beach, and from there to our land program, people to people, and then it's time for swimming and enjoying. So it's a combination of everything. can do it with the big boat. Right. Now, give, given the success that you've had with Cuba, small, in small ships in Cuba, uh, are you planning other small ship cruises to other destinations? Oh, we are, absolutely. We, we have both, uh, the partnership that we have as Variety Cruises Group ISD, uh, which partner together to develop this concept furthermore in the U.S. market. Uh, apply to the fact that uh, we have both all over. We have both in Seychelles, and we combine a program with Kenna Safari and uh, a cruise uh, in the Seychelles Islands. So um, it's the Garden of Eden. It's very unique. We combine it also with stopover in Dubai mm -hmm. because Emirate and Etihad flying all the way to Seychelles via sure. stopover in either Abu Dhabi or Dubai. So we can do a safari desert in Dubai or Abu Dhabi and then wonderful Seychelles or Kine Safari and Seychelles. We do Iceland. And let me tell you, Iceland, it's in a sense, like Cuba, doesn't have much infrastructure because it's a small community. And so the demand to Iceland had been built last few years so tremendously from Europe and also from the United States. While we have our boat over there, we don't need to depend on the infrastructure. You stay with us and we bring you to the highlights around this island, close to the highlights, so you don't have to travel a lot by land. And yet you enjoy the perspective yeah. of getting there by the sea to the beautiful fjords. And you can see it from the inside and outside from the land. Yeah. So well, that's uh, an amazing combination. Yeah. Well, let me end uh, to talk a little back to Cuba. Uh, what plans do you have to further develop that Cuba uh, small ship cruise product and what you offer? Well, well you know, today we have a program which spans from Havana uh, all the way to Maria Lagoda, which is uh, uh, the, the, the uh, western part of, of, of Cuba, uh, and then from there to the island of Hughes and to uh, San Fego, the colonial uh, French capital of Cuba, and then to Casilda, which is 10 minutes drive from Trinidad. We intend to open the south, and we negotiate with the, Cub with the Cuban to allow us to get to a unique place that nobody else is going, such as Ardenas La Arenas, which you viewer could maybe saw it in um, with Anderson Cooper uh, 60 Minutes. This is a huge sea life with lots of concentration of different sharks and other. And from there to Manzanillo and uh, Santa Cruz del Sol, small communities that, you know, Cuba, the pr one of the problem for the big boat, Cuba surrounded by coral reef all around. And it's very restricted because they want to keep the nature as it is. Mm. I mean, this next to Australia, Cuban have, Cuba have more coral reef than any other uh, sites in the world. Right. So in order to get there, you need to get there only with a boat. They have the capability of not destroying those coral reefs. Which we is, do that. Which is perfect for your product. Absolutely. Well, well, Michael, thank you very much for taking the time to fill us in on your small ship cruises to Cuba. Sounds like a great way to see the country, and it sounds like you're thinking of even better ways to get around and see things that nobody ever sees. Come enjoy. Enjoy the salsa. Enjoy the culture. Enjoy the people. Enjoy the sights like nobody else. I'm James Schillinglaw for Insider Travel Videos.